understand what a key is, let's just use one to identify these three animals. Let's start with specimen A. What you see here is a set of clues. These clues together make up a taxonomic key. Let's start with the first two statements. They talk about the skin. Let's see. Hmm. The skin looks kind of moist and slimy. It's definitely not dry. So we can definitely ignore the first statement. Our specimens can't be reptiles. Since they have moist skin with no scales, we can say that they are amphibians. The key directs us to go to statement 2. The second set of statements talk about limbs. Hmm, I do see limbs on specimen A. So, clearly it is not a Sicilian. Sicilians are basically amphibians that do not have limbs. I think we can proceed to the third set of statements, which talk about tails. Okay, specimen A has a tail. So according to the key, this amphibian which has four limbs and a tail is a salamander. Yay! One down, two to go. Let's move on to specimen B. This specimen also has moist skin and limbs. But it does not have a tail. So, as the key directs, let's move on to statement 4. These statements talk about the skin again. As per the key, tailless amphibians with smooth, slimy skin are frogs. So that makes specimen B a frog. Wow! We saw that one pretty quickly. Now we are left with just one. Specimen C looks a lot like a frog. It has moist skin, limbs and no tail. But unlike the frog, it has rough and bumpy skin. So according to the key, specimen C is a toad. Yay! We have successfully used this key to unlock the identities to these organisms. No? Not a good joke? Okay, never mind. Let's move on. Taxonomic keys use the similarities and the differences between organisms to identify them. Keys usually have pairs of contrasting characters known as couplets. For example, the first set of statements in our key talks about dry and moist skin which are contrasting characteristics. Together, they form a couplet. In the same way, the rest of the pairs of the statements are also couplets. Further, each statement within the couplet is known as a lead. So, within the first couplet, the statements that talk about the types of skin are leads. The key that we have used is a simplified one that has been created to help you understand how keys are used. In reality, separate keys are required for identifying the family, genus and species of an organism. Such extensive keys help users in correctly identifying the organism in question. You can find keys in many books and research articles. Some herbaria and museums may also have keys to identify different organisms. If you enjoyed watching this video and want to learn more in a visually stunning way, download Akash Baiju's app now. Link is in the description and to keep watching such cool content, like, share and subscribe to Akash Baiju's Neat.